Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 12 where I'm trying out some freeware planes. The first one up is Shenxi's Boeing 720-720B and I also have the additional mod for it by Dinkus Tile and that is Cockpit PBR and Instrument Panel Glass mod and well uh, I don't know how the original looked since I immediately threw in the mod, so I'm gonna assume that it's okay. Uh, but this is the cockpit of it, and for freeware this is wonderful, of course. Uh, this is looking great. Um, the en engineer panel, the stuff doesn't actually work, but it still looks great, so yeah. Uh, the dials, I, I don't know if they do anything or not. The vertical speed indicator seemed to not do the same thing as the vertical speed indicator here. Which, uh, let me broach another subject. I have already tried to fly the plane. Uh, this is my second flight with it. In the first flight with it, I tried to go inverted and that did not work out so well. <laughs> so, I mean, I did the normal 707 thing. Uh, the 720 is the derivative of the 707. It's not to be confused with the 727, so the 720, not 727, the 720 is related to the 707. It is basically a shorter version of it. And yeah, as you can see, four engines, not three. Pan Am livery comes with it, and it is a spiffy looking plane. Uh, we've got all the shiny PBR stuff going. Uh, while standing still, the elevators seem to do things that I'm not telling them to do, but I'll forgive that. Uh, that part seems to fly all right as long as you're not going inverted. I'm going to just go with a quick traffic pattern sort of thing. I already know it flies well, I'm just showcasing it because it is such a good looking freeware plane. Uh, I'm just pointing it out just in case you don't have it because why don't you? <laughs> I'll put the link in the video description along with the other two planes that I'll try out which are the De Havilland Vampire and uh, uh, English Electric Lightning, uh, both by Dom Henry. And we're off. This time I remembered to turn off XP Realistic beforehand so you can hear the original sounds and lifting up the landing gear. Uh, we are at LAX right now. So landing gear going up and flaps going up. If not for trying to fly inverted, it uh, would have done fine on my attempt last time. Uh, I have not tried to land it though. This will be the first landing with it. Of course, I do have uh, photo scenery from Fork Boy 2, and that is at the US Oracle Photos. So keep that in mind if your LA area doesn't look quite the same. In X-Plane 11, I had uh, 707, uh, L-1011, and DC-8 all in the same pack, I think by Michael Wilson. Unfortunately, it didn't get updated even within X-Plane 11, and got taken, it was a payware thing got, that got taken down from the, uh, from the X-Plane.org store. It was a bit outdated, I think it was like uh, X-Plane 10 planes that had been, uh, you know, made compatible with X-Plane 11, but the textures didn't quite hold up, I guess, and the creator decided to pull them. But yeah, I uh, I like them. I mean, at least it was good to have them, and I'm glad to have this here. I hope somebody makes the L1011 again, at least. It's sort of an iconic sort of plane. DC-8 wouldn't be bad either, but uh, yeah. So that's what it looks like, ascending a bit here. Probably don't need to ascend that much since I'm coming right back down. This variant of the 707 has the sound suppressor exhausts, uh, very unique iconic sort of things, interesting shape. I get the feeling it would be much louder than it sounds like right now in actuality. And I tell you, it picks up speed quite dramatically when going down. So do watch out for that. Uh, I've been caught off guard by that quite a bit. Really struggles going up. Really plunges going down. 
so out the window and we do have the eyebrow windows too well let's see the spoilers in action well they certainly cause it to dip serious spoiling going on more more about causing the nose to go down than I mean it's struggled to keep the nose up and now it's sort of decelerating so a lot of adjustment necessary I mean as you would expect I mean there's nothing special or anything but worth noting oh that's a nice view out in front oh wow we're going past again see see I'm not even throttled up much the flaps generate quite a lot of drag just on the first notch and the flaps and it should produce a lot of lift too lots of trimming going on now I'll put the gear down okay coming in here Okay. 30, 20, 10. All right. Okay. I think we can take this taxiway. LAX looking pretty good right now. Alright, well, anyway, I won't belabor the whole parking situation. I am going to try the next plane, which will be the De Havilland Vampire by Dom Henry. Okay, so this is the De Havilland Vampire by Dom Henry, again, freeware. Um, this is the interior. It is freeware. <laughs> it is freeware. And there's the exterior, which is spiffier. Looks reasonably good from the outside here. Very shiny. Yep, but how does it fly? It's an interesting plane. Should be a bit of a struggle, really. So let's find out. Crawling up. Well, it tends to skid around a bit. Okay, up we go. My apologies for not flying it in Britain. I don't have British scenery at the same level as the scenery around California, so I'm gonna stick to California for now. Okay, so here we go. Fascinating plane. Again, uh, one I don't have elsewhere. I was looking at the Swiss Mill Sim Vampire for Flight Sim. But... Yeah, I, I wasn't entirely sold on that. I mean, that's a unique profile right there. I'm surprised the roundels are so close to the leading edge, though. Ah, so it can't go much slower than that. It's hefty. It has a hefty feel to it. In fact, I thought it would be a bigger change between the 720 and this, but it's... Well, at least it can fly inverted. <laughs> sort of. There we go. Oh, 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 the engine quit because of uh, the pro negative G's, probably. Up oh, and came back on. All right. Interesting. Certainly not as nimble as the F-19 that I tested out from V Sky Labs. And so following highways would not be quite as much fun, but not impossible.
that is full throttle right now. So yeah, nimble enough to have fun with it, but with some heft. I don't think it's gonna go unreasonably fast or anything. I think it's within specs for sure. So, uh, I am going to try and land it and see how that feels. Up, oh, rid out's possible. Well, that makes sense. Uh, our negative G's must have been seriously negative when I went upside down. This plane did break a world altitude record, so that would be something to try. But that probably takes some coaxing. It has to get up to 59,000 feet. Did that in 1948, though. So, Dom Henry, of course, very prolific. Dom Henry, of course, very prolific as far as uh, making planes for X plane is concerned. So, the effort is much appreciated. Go outside. Do we have air brakes on here? We do. Just those on the trailing edge. Okay, gear is going down. There it is, that's how it looked. Then we've got some flaps. How close am I to stalling this thing? I don't even know. It seems pretty slow. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm skidding, I'm skidding, I'm skidding, I'm skidding. So it can get a lot slower than I actually took off at, I think. Woo. Okay. Okay, I'm going a little bit fast on the taxi here, but all right. It's a war emergency situation, darn it. All right, so that was the De Havilland Vampire, and next up, uh, another Dom Henry mod, and that is the English Electric Lightning. Okay, so this is the default sound, no XP realistic for the English Electric Lightning by Dom Henry. This is the interior. Again, freeware. Exterior, shiny. And uh, pretty unique two jet engines stacked one on top of another. Definitely a special configuration there. Yep. All right. Let's go. I'll take it from outside this time. Okay, gear up. We accelerate real fast with those afterburners. Nice thunder. Lots of power. Sort of a drag racer kind of thing. That interesting sweep on the wings where it actually reduces the sweep on the outer portion. Also interesting. Very rockety. Very nice. Serious climb rate. Up to 30,000 feet. I wouldn't really, really want to uh, dogfight with it, but it was supposed to intercept bombers, so. We should probably bring Mach 1 here. 
Alright, that's Mach 1. Didn't really have too much of a problem with that. We're still transonic though. There's some reflective scatter on the front bit there, unfortunately. Don't know what that's about. The mock tape is nice, though. That's a good throwback mock tape right there. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe I should turn towards Edwards. See if I can do a slow turn without compromising too much speed. Considering it was developed as an interceptor and the speed that it can go at and is going at right now, it seems like it has a fairly decent range anyway. Our fuel isn't exactly bleeding off even at maximum afterburner. I mean, uh, we've only got fuel tanks 1 and 2 being used. There's still fuel tank 3 with the majority of the fuel right now. So, we might have like an hour at Mach 1.6 right now. Okay, so I think I've turned to point to Edwards. And the service ceiling for this is 60,000 feet, so... Probably we'll need to get there if we want to get to Mach 2. So up we go. Well, it's not really accelerating up here as much as I thought it would. Maybe the intake isn't quite optimized for up here exactly. Poor little intake is feeding two engines after all. It is a sort of ram intake, but still, maybe a little bit lower would be better. We are getting close to Edwards though, so I might just take the Mach 1.6 for now. Maybe if we drop some of the armaments or something, that would be better. Mach 2.27 at 40,000 feet. Well, we'll try. Okay, Mach 1.7. with a lighter load than what we have right now. Nimble at this, well, nimble at rolling at this speed anyway. If I try to uh, pull really hard, it's going to not like it. Anyway, I'm going to try and land at Edwards. I have to go around. We passed right by. Okay. Turning towards Edwards now. Let's see. Do we have air brakes? We do. The side ones there. It really needs the air brakes. Uh, we're getting, we're coming in fast, but I don't know how fast it's okay with. So, oh, we've got some oscillation here. Maybe I should go with the dirt runways. Probably safer. Yeah, I don't think I can land here right now. We're still going pretty fast. All right. All right, salt flats. 
the British are coming. <laughs> okay, and 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 have we touched down yet? There we go. Jeez. All right, we are down on the dirt runways of Edwards Air Force Base. And we have stopped. I'm just going to leave it here. It's been a fun ride with these three planes and I hope you enjoyed it. So the links will be in the video description and they'll be to the explain.org uh, website and they are all freeware. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next time.